Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So as you would tell from the title of this video, I will be doing a meal prep video. So this meal prep video is gonna be all for fat loss. Huge disclaimer, when it comes down to your food choices, whether you're in a fat loss phase or a building phase, there is no wrong or right food. But when you are in a fat loss phase, there are definitely certain foods, food groups, macronutrients that you can have different ratios with and changing your different foods to be able to eat more for less. And that is definitely ideal when you're in a fat loss phase. So the foods that I will be showing you today are kind of foods that a higher volume and are going to keep you fuller for longer. So when you are in a fat loss phase, you do wanna be prioritizing protein in order to be keeping fuller for longer and choosing foods that are lower calorie and that you can have more of with higher volume. So you will see the food choices that I will choose throughout this video. So if you do follow me on Instagram, you would actually know that I'm not in a fat loss phase. I'm currently in a building phase. So these meals that I'm about to show you, I still eat, but I'll add things like avocados and different sources of fat in order to um, bump them calories up. And also I will change my ratio with macronutrients. So I'm actually having less protein than what I was in a fat loss phase. And and I'm having more carbohydrates. So you would think when you're in a building phase that you would have double the amount of protein, but that's actually not the case. You do wanna be prioritizing your carbohydrates in order to have enough energy for your sessions. And when you're in a fat loss phase, you actually do wanna be having more protein because like I said earlier, it keeps you fuller for longer and also because it helps maintain your muscles. So when you're in a fat loss phase, you wanna reduce the amount of muscle mass that you're losing through this process. And one way of doing that is by upping your protein sources. So within this video, I'll be showing you one of my favorite breakfasts. So as you guys know, I kind of like rotate between literally two breakfasts and that's all I have. So I'll have my oats or my protein pancakes. So that's one of the recipes I'll be showing for a breakfast recipe. And then I've got two main meals. So either a lunch or a breakfast, and then I've got one snack. So anyway, let's get straight into it. So if you do follow my socials, you would see this meal quite a fair bit. So the only reason why I don't choose protein pancakes every single morning is because of how long it takes in the mornings. And my mornings are a huge rush. So one thing I have been doing is actually prepping my protein pancakes and then I can have it in the morning. Look, some people are like, why would you heat your protein pancakes? But trust me, it tastes nice. I would highly recommend it. Super simple, we've just got um, one banana, 100 mils of egg whites, one egg, baking powder and then isopep. So when it comes down to your cooking, I definitely do usually prefer to cook with OxyWay protein. Um, I just don't have any fade at all. I do actually talk about the difference between isopep and OxyWay in my recent video. I did also want to let you guys know that EHP is currently having a sale. So I was only actually told this morning it will be live next week. Um, but by the time this video is launched, it will be live. So what it is is 50% off in Australia for our financial year sale. There's going to be specific bundles that you can buy that is 50% off. And then for my US audience, 60% off. So this is like a 60% off summer sale. So just use my code C10 and I do have my link in the description below. But yeah, super nice. I have to have my vanilla. I have that in my oats and my protein. I prefer my vanilla when it comes down to cooking. And then I will actually um, add in the morning, I will add my PB2 sauce. So I'll show you PB2, so good. Um, I know that you can get it online. I get mine from Woolworths. So if you're in Australia, Woolworths sell this. And then I have my sugar-free maple syrup. So what I actually do is I add a tablespoon of this in, then I add a bit of water and the maple syrup in the PB2. Honestly, taste so, so good. And you wanna have the consistency where it is kind of like a syrup. So then you just add it in. And obviously for all these recipes, I will be adding the macros and everything on the screen and in the description below if that is something that you're interested in. So you'll find with a lot of the meals that I'm showing you guys today, I'm all about the efficiency, quick and easy, especially if you are calorie counting or you're macro counting. You don't wanna be in the kitchen for too long, especially if you're weighing out and doing all these meals. When it comes down to meal prep, it is just about the conveniency and the efficiency of it. So you don't wanna be getting fancy with your recipes and having a thousand ingredients that you're going to have to track. So you will see with this video, 
I am just about the basic simple meals and that is something that I prefer to do, especially when I am tracking my macros. As you guys know, I do love cooking, I do love fancy recipes, but for my lifestyle at the moment and the way that I eat, it's just not ideal and I generally do prefer certain simple meals like this. So protein pancakes, done. So our next meal is going to be kangaroo patties with potato chips. So if you know me, you know how much I love my air fryer. Like. I've literally done a whole ebook on air fryer recipes. That is how much I love my air fryer. Look, you know, definitely hit or miss. Some people are just, they would prefer their oven, but I just love the efficiency of air fryers, especially how it cooks certain things. So if you haven't used an air fryer before, it just basically crisp things up. So I wouldn't certain like green vegetables in the air fryer as you want it to stay moist. Um, but with my potato fries, 100% in the air fryer. So I'm actually going to show you how I do them today. I get asked all the time how I do them and how I make them quite crispy. There is definitely a method in how to do that. So I'll show you. So we're just having that with the kangaroo burgers and some green vegetables. So with the meals today, I'm going to be cooking um, like two, two lunches of these. So I'll be making two of these. That's basically what I do at home for Joel and I. And then I just, like I said, either change up um, the certain ratio of macros or I'll add certain things to mine because I'm actually, like I said, in a building phase and my partner, Joel, he's in a fat loss phase. So we basically eat the same food. So with um, when you're cooking for two, I actually weigh raw. The main reason why people avoid weighing food is because it can get quite complicated. And like I said, there are things that you can do like making your food choices more simple and meal prepping and doubling up your portions in order to make more meals. So when it comes down to the potatoes, I honestly, with potatoes, I eat a crap load of them purely because like I said, they are low calories and you can get so much of them. So I'm making two meals and we'll have basically 200 grams of uncooked potato in each meal. So in order to make two, I will do 400 grams. So we have our whey here and we're going to be making them in little chippy forms. So how you actually get your potatoes to be crisp in the air fryer is you do boil them first. Like I said, we're all about the efficiency and we are going to be microwave in boil, I know. I know I'm gonna get a lot of people hating on me at the moment, but all about the efficiency of it. So I prefer to cut my potatoes in little chippy forms, but you know, whatever floats your boat. And when it comes down to your potatoes, the key ingredient is the seasoning. And I have recently got this seasoning and it's called <laughs> Everything Bacon. Look, does it make your potatoes taste like bacon? No. It, no, it's lying there, but it just makes them taste nice. I don't know what it is. It's like, I like, it's not a bacony flavor. It's kind of like smoked paprika flavor. So it makes them taste nice. It doesn't make them taste like bacon. So don't get fooled there, but it's all about the spices. And then I have been using um, garlic as well. So I've been using garlic powder. You can get garlic kernels or garlic powder. Um, if you have been following me for a while, you would know that I couldn't actually have garlic because of my irritable bowel syndrome. But through my process of obviously healing my gut, I have been able to introduce garlic again. And I'm so happy, like I've literally been having it on everything because I've had to avoid it for so long. And I have been, I've been missing out. Okay, so now we're going to weigh our potatoes here. Like I said, we want to be doing 400 grams because it's for two meals. It's a little bit over. Now it's under, I'd prefer over than under. Okay, so once we've done our potatoes, we then move on to the seasoning. So everything bacon. Honestly, I would so recommend this. I just, I'm a Woolies girl, stuff Coles, honestly. So everything that I get is usually from Woolworths. Look, if you see something here from Coles, yeah. Sometimes I do shop there because it is, it's closer, it's closer to home, but definitely 100% Woolies girl. And then this coriander, look, I know some people are not a fan. I'm a huge fan of coriander. Um, this is actually going to be for our second recipe, but I also do add them on our fries. Spewing if Joel didn't like like coriander and garlic, so I just put that in everything now. <laughs> Sorry, Dal, you'd have to deal with it. I don't need to add any water or anything in here. I put it in the microwave for roughly around four and a half minutes or until boiled. I've got my assistant who is going to show me where 
the microwave is, thank you. <laughs> so as you guys can tell, I'm actually not in my kitchen. My girlfriend Jade has allowed me to use her kitchen. We have just bought our house. So excited for my kitchen. Not available till next year. And like, my kitchen just ain't like YouTube worthy. Like, I'm sorry to say it, but like, I'm funny when it comes down to kitchens and I'm currently living it up in this big kitchen. So if I look like I don't know where stuff is, it's cause I don't. Moving on to the greens. When you are in a fat loss phase, it is really important to one, get your greens in because hashtag nutrition and two, because it is such low in calories and you can have so much of it. So we'll have roughly from 100 to 200 grams of uncooked greens. How I make these is one, I can either boil them or two, I do like them on the fry pan. So when I I am cooking my greens, I actually add some form of coconut aminos. So this is definitely a game changer when you're cooking your greens. And then I'll just add salt and pepper. Sometimes I add garlic because like I said, I am. I've created an obsession with it at the moment. So for the meal prep, we'll be having two patties each. These are really good. I recommend these again from Woolies there roughly 100 calories a patty and quite high in protein. So we'll have two each. Obviously, if you're not as hungry as Joel and I, you can just have one, but hashtag protein. All right, so now the potatoes are boiled. We are going to pop them in the air fryer roughly 15 minutes, um, 200 Celsius, just until they're really crispy. Halfway through, you can obviously, wow, I wish you, like, can you see how dirty this is? You'd think I'd be more prepared, but I wasn't, right? Okay, just let's ignore that, because obviously I do. Before I pop my broccoli on the fry pan, I am actually just going to lightly boil them. Look, if you like soggy broccoli, you're a psychopath, that's really weird. You gotta have them crisp. No, I'm kidding, like whatever floats your boat, but honestly, psychopath. So like I said, when it comes down to your food choices, there are no wrong or right food. You wanna be including every macronutrient. You don't wanna be restricting any macronutrient. Carbs don't make you fat, fat doesn't make you fat, no. But there is definitely ways that you can be smarter when you are in a fat loss phase. With my Fit Girl series on my YouTube channel and my whole goal with my YouTube when I am talking about fat loss phase, my goal is to make girls aware that you can still achieve your goals whilst eating a good amount of food. Um, like I said, you wanna be sticking to higher volume and you can as well do smarter things like cooking with less oil, cooking with things that are going to clock up your calories. So you can kind of eat your, eat your food rather than having smaller portions of food with high amount of calories. So as you can see, I don't really cook with oil. Um, I don't see the need, especially you have things like non-stick pans and everything. Like I said, this was a non-stick pan at one stage. Is it still a non-stick pan? Probably not, but you know, we've been able to work with it. Before I pop the broccoli on the fry pan for a minute or so, I'm going to put in coconut aminos and salt and pepper. Right, here we go. There we go, there's a little area to do it. Get nails, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Joel doesn't clean up as he goes, if he ever if he ever is in the kitchen. And it's the most stressful thing ever. Like, you finish cooking and you don't even want to eat because you got to clean. Yeah, Joel, Joel doesn't. Um, but if we're, like, coming home from the gym, I'm like, I'm not cooking your food, you can, you can cook it. That and it's stressful. Is the first time he's cooked in for He was stressed. He was stressed. Because even before that, he did so well with it because before that, Joel was like, I fucking hate when people cook my steak. You buy this really nice steak and they just fuck it up. <laughs> and he, when we left, he was like, he actually did really well. Wow. Oh my God. Can we like off the stop there. it? That one is four years old, but I use that the most, and I cook pasta sauces and shit in that. So I'm actually moving in to your house. Is that all right? Look at this. <gasps> and I've brought my shitty pan. <laughs> Why have I even brought this? I'm chucking it out as soon as I get home. That's embarrassing. No, this is my life, okay? That's goals. Uh, can I live in there? Like, <laughs> that's how nice it is. 
Everything's so organized. I'm stressed to go home. I don't want to go home. So if anyone should sponsor me, it's Bloody Phillips. Like, look at this. When I first released my FRA ebook, everyone was like sharing stories and tagging me that they bought like the air fryer. And I shit you not, I have made Phillips that many bloody sales. I, yeah, Phillips, my email's down below if you, you know, just wanna hook your girl up. When um, you are separating them into two meals, we've already weighed them, so you don't necessarily need to weigh them. You can eyeball it, but a more accurate way of doing this is basically weighing out um, the, the food. So why do we weigh uncooked? Um, purely because it is more accurate. Yes, it can be more time consuming because you know you want to be cooking in big batches and you just want to be in the fridge and do things like this, but this is why um, I prompt meal prepping. So why do we weigh uncooked? So when you cook, it is losing its um, water weight. So that's 260 and then we just divide that into two. Yes, I'll be using my calculator because I suck at math. Actually, assistant, 130, beautiful. So then we do 130 in the meals. So as I was saying, <laughs> math ain't my thing, okay? So as I was saying, so when you're um, cooking your food, it loses its weight content. So um, let me give you an example. So if you have a chicken breast, obviously, um, that chicken breast ain't going to lose its calories and lose its protein just because you cook it. So it is gonna weigh less. So if you pop it in on my fitness pal, um, it could start at 250 grams, but you'll cook it and it could go to 200 grams basically, um, depending on the, the way that you cook it. And when you type it in on my fitness pal, it's going to have less calories, it's going to have less protein, etc. But that chicken breast never actually lost its calories, it just lost its weight. So it is important to weigh certain things uncooked if you do to be more accurate look you can type in on my fitness pal cooked version but the reason why i've actually stopped doing that is purely because something like potatoes we put 400 grams in there then we boiled it and then we baked it so it's lost a lot of its weight if i've typed in cooked it doesn't know that i boiled it and then baked it so 400 grams it started with and then we ended up at 239, 240, and then 130. Is that what it was? Yeah. 260, 130, right, sorry. Oh, nice! Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm open about it. I don't even care. I shine in other areas. What was it? 130, there we go. See, this can be a stressful time for me because of the maths. Everything else, the whole cooking, no, that's fine. So we've got 130 in there, then we add the rest in here. Look, I prefer this meal definitely for dinner, so the potatoes are crispy. I just basically wanted to show you how I make my potatoes um, in the air fryer because it is so highly requested by you guys on my socials. If I am in a fat loss phase, I do actually stick to boiled potatoes because like I said, I can have more of that because it's not losing its water content. So the volume of the potatoes is so much more. Um, you can get a bit fancy, do the crisp, but yeah, if I'm in a fat loss phase and I'm making lunches, I will actually just have these potatoes boiled. One, because they do taste better after you've reheated them, and two, because of the volume. So this is meal one. I did also wanna show you a sauce that I've been adding. I won't add it because then you have to heat it, mm -mm, but add it after. The Nando's, Nando's peri, peri sauce. If you do follow my socials, you know that I'm absolutely obsessed with this and I've been adding it to everything. Look, I'll probably, I'll probably end up hating it because I do it all the time but highly recommend that again bought from Woolies not in the health food section just like the sauce section yeah we get barbecue sauce tomato sauce you know so next we have a prawn stir fry I have been loving my stir fries or like satays at the moment so this one I have this sauce so again bought from Woolworths I also have a satay sauce in this brand so amazing and the macros are pretty good so we have, this is 260 all together, so the packet was just 260. Again, I'll be making two separate meals, so we're going to be popping this in the fry pan. I, again, want my garlic, again, 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 again. Salt, pepper, and then some of that coriander. I find, like, when you are meal prepping, you just, you just kind of stick to the same seasonings. You just, 
you just have your things, you have, look, I'm not gonna be adding the bacon on, no, that's not gonna be a thing. I probably, I don't know, like, I don't know, I've never tried it, could taste okay. Bacon prawns, why not? I prefer to add my sauce in whilst I'm putting all the seasons in, you don't have to. Um, things that are really good with, like, popular sauces is you can just scan it and then it'll come up on my fitness pal. We will just be having um, this meal with rice. Everyone's like to me, oh my God, rice, doesn't rice make you fat? No, it doesn't. Rice, pasta, bread, all of that you can have. Carbohydrates are so, so important in, whether you are in a fat loss phase, whether you are in a building phase, it is your body's first source of energy. Obviously, like I said, the ratio will be different. I definitely do double up on my rice um, in my building phase. Any my shredding phase, I'll just have a normal serving. So this one is roughly um, 125 grams. Look, I don't always buy the microwave one. In that area, I am better because we do eat a lot of rice. I actually cook a crap load and it, you like save a fortune. But for the purpose of this video, I didn't bring my huge container of rice over. I had enough. I forgot my air fryer. I did forget my air fryer. I had to go back, get my air fryer. Forgot a few other things which are standard, which I knew was gonna happen, but that's why I've got you. My vlog friend who has everything in his kitchen. Literally, I could have just came here with my camera. And my air fryer. Yeah, see, she's one of the people who just, air fryers are a no-go, but whatevs, you know. I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a lazy cook. Leave me alone. So with my veggies as well, I'm going to add them in quite quickly after because prawns don't take long at all to cook, but I don't want my veggies to overcook. So they're all gonna cook together. So I'm roughly just gonna add with my veggies, I just kind of just, you know, YOLO chuck them all in. You know, I get, I get a lot of people saying to me, Chrissy, why don't you spend hours in the kitchen anymore and make your raw treats? And you know, you've changed. But do, no, I have not changed. I am currently meal prepping for two humans, cooking for three and also three dogs. So it's not me that's changed. It's kind of just like me life. Like the thought of going into the kitchen for fun now, that's stressful, like that is stressful. I did have a blast though. When I used to live alone and had everything organized, look, we're adapting to motherhood. We're adapting towards it, slow and steady. This next meal, it can be kind of like a snack, can be dessert, whatever floats your boat. Um, Joel kind of got me hooked on it. I just have it as a snack. He's been having it as his dessert. It is extremely low calorie and it's a good way to get your protein in. Um, look, it's, it's, it's a weird combo. It is weird, but it just works. So we have our sugar-free jelly. This is like stupidly, stupidly low calorie. Um, I would I would not eat this as a meal. I literally just eat this if I'm bored. Like that's, it's like seven calories, it's nothing. But, so what we're going to do is I prefer it all cold. So again, prep this. So we're gonna just put in as much jelly, float your boat. You can go crazy with this, go to town, do whatever you want. Like we just have like roughly 250 mils. I think that's like seven cows. It's stupid, but like, you know, you wanna be practicing portion control. Don't go overboard. 250 grams of sugar-free jelly. And then, right, this is gonna seem so weird what we do next, but it just works. We're going to turn this protein into a sauce. How do we do that, Christy? Well, exactly how we did with the PB2 powder. So we just got one scoop of the protein and then we've put in the maple syrup. So it's going to kind of like create like a custard. Oh, just trust me, look at this, okay. I don't actually have a whisk at home, but we have a whisk right now and I'm in heaven. There we go. So this is the consistency that we want. As you can see, it is, it's like a protein custard and then Look, we usually add frozen blueberries, but I didn't bring any. I'd be surprised if you don't have any. Do you have frozen blueberries? Frozen blueberries, actually. Well, we can add raspberries, but that's just so much red. We've got summer fruits. Oh, let's, <laughs> let's summer fruits. Let's go summer fruits. Put in 50 grams of summer fruits. Summer fruits, summertime. It's actually winter here. Hence why I'm wearing the trackies. Summer fruits, we usually just add um, blueberries or Ooh, strawberries would be good, 50 grams. Look at the summer fruits, how summery. 
top <laughs> and put it in on top. Look at that. What a combo. Shout out to Joel for actually creating this random recipe, but I'm low key stealing it from him and now putting it on my YouTube channel and claiming it. So basically I created this recipe. Joel did nothing. And look at that. We have a little custard, sugar-free, yummy dessert or snack. Done. Also it says hemp seeds. Please ignore that. This is not hemp seeds. I hope you did like this little meal prep video. Make sure you do give this one a thumbs up if you want more meal prep videos. But there we have it, six meals done in less than an hour. Yes, I did prepare my pancakes earlier. Everyone knows how to cook pancakes, literally just takes 10 minutes, but I highly recommend prepping them before your morning, especially if you have busy mornings. Six meals done. Hope you guys did like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.